Welcome to a whole new world, the digital classroom of Maryland Academy. A smart class like never before. Easy learning, happy learning, happy children, happy families. The Mughal Emperor, Shah Jahan, after ruling from Agra for 11 years, decided to shift to Delhi and laid the foundation stone of the Red Fort in 1618. For its inauguration in 1647, the main halls of the palace were draped in rich tapestry and covered with silk from China and velvet from Turkey. The fort's massive red sandstone walls, which stand 75 feet high, enclose a complex of palaces and entertainment halls, projecting balconies, baths and indoor canals, and geometrical gardens, as well as an ornate mosque. Every year, on the Independence Day of India, that is the 15th of August, the Prime Minister of India hoists the Indian flag at the Red Fort and delivers speech. With a circumference of almost one and a half miles, the fort is an irregular octagon and has two entrances, the Lahore and Delhi gates. Form the Lahore Gate, a visitor has access to the Chatter Chowk, vaulted arcade, which is once a royal market and house court jewelers, miniature painters carpet manufacturers, workers in enamel, silk weavers and families of specialized craftsmen. The road from the royal market leads to the Nora Barkhana, band house, where the royal band played five times a day. The band house also marks the entry into the main palace and all visitors, except royalty had to dismount here. The Dewan A Arm is the Red Fort's Hall of Public Audience. Built of sandstone covered with shell plaster polished to look like ivory, the 80 by 40 feet hall is subdivided by columns. Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan and his successors received members of the general public and heard their grievances. The Mughal emperors would hold court here and meet dignitaries and foreign emissaries. The most imposing feature is the alcove in the back wall where the emperor sat in state on a richly carved and inlaid marble platform. In the recess behind the platform are fine examples of Italian Pietra Dura work. The piece de resistance of the fort, the Diwane Cast was the hall of private audience. 
the most highly ornamented of all Shah Jahan's buildings, the 90 by 67 feet Duane Kars is a pavilion of white marble supported by intricately carved pillars. So enamored was the emperor by the beauty of this pavilion that he engraved on it the following words, if there is paradise on the face of this earth, it is this, it is this. Richly decorated with flowers of inlaid mosaic work of cornelian and other stones, the Diwane Kars once housed the famous peacock throne, which when it was plundered by Nadia Shah in 1739, was valued at 6 million sterling. Learn from yesterday, live for today, hope for tomorrow.